Hello everybody and welcome to that weird time of the year between Christmas and New Year's where you really do not know what day of the week it is. I'm having a chill relaxing day today and I've had a little bit of a break from my complete disaster of a Christmas project. I feel like I can talk about it now. First off, I just want to say whether you have been sewing for a day, a week, or over 20 years like me, sewing fails happen to everyone. So my latest complete bomb was a Christmas dress that I was making for a very formal dinner at my husband's work. And even though I knew about this dinner a month in advance, things just happened and life got in the way of my sewing plans. And so I ended up only having about five days to make this dress. And it did not turn out at all. So it also really didn't help that the fabric I chose was a chiffon and unfortunately I bought the stuff that was only 45 inches wide instead of 60 inches wide. And so I couldn't really complete the design All right, my camera battery just died there, so hopefully the shot is still lined up. All right, where was I? Oh, okay, the reason I'm making this video um, is because I feel like not enough fails are really talked about. Uh, on social media, we all wanna share our amazing projects that turn out well, and we just wanna show everything off, and I think that really creates unrealistic expectations when it comes to sewing projects because not all projects turn out. I don't know how many projects I've done over the years that completely failed and I just decided to just not say anything about them on my YouTube channel. And I feel like that really, really creates an unrealistic expectation for people who are just getting into sewing. When you are seeing all these creators making these projects that are beautiful and turn out every single time, like I don't know about anyone else, but for myself when I, when I saw that, I felt like I wasn't good enough. Like why am I sewing? Why am I doing this? Kind of, I don't know, it's just like one of those things that when you see all the perfect projects that everyone else is making and then you see your failures, you really start to second guess yourself and it's not good because you you never know how the next project is going to turn out. So I guess, yeah, the reason I'm making this video is just to showcase the failures as well. Because believe me, not all my projects turn out great. Ugh. And you can hide a lot of stuff on camera. You can pin things and use a bazillion safety pins to make it look like it's fabulous and finished. There's an audio that I saw right after uh, my project failed that if, what is it? it goes like, if it's not perfect on the first try, it's a learning opportunity and you get to try again. And then the other person replies, it's trash, I'm trash, and I'm never trying that again. And I just felt that was very relatable <laughs> because it's so easy to build others up and to encourage them in their projects, but it's so easy to tear yourself down. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I had a lot of high expectations for this project and I was very certain that it was gonna turn out, but it just didn't. It may be something that I try and fix in the future like it's not completely unsalvageable and who knows maybe if I have more time and more room to be creative with it it can turn out beautifully in the future but right now right now it's not <laughs> so what did I learn from this project whether it turned out or not um, I think it's always good to look at projects that you've worked on and see what worked and what didn't and just, just reflect on what you've created. So what I've learned from this time around is number one, I need to set boundaries when it comes to projects and I need to learn to say no to myself because sometimes I have these grand ideas that I can get big projects done in small amounts, in a short amount of time. And as a mom of three kids, it's not realistic. I see other people creating who don't have kids and when I see their timelines, 
I feel like I can follow those timelines as well. But when you only get two hours to sew in the evening, maybe. <laughs> and then you try and compare yourself or fit yourself into someone else's timeline. It just, it doesn't happen. So that's number one. Number two that I learned from this project is polyester chiffon sucks and I hate sewing with it and I need to stop creating projects that have polyester chiffon in it. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> so number three that I learned from this project is just because I had high expectations of something and it didn't turn out doesn't mean I'm a failure. And I guess part of a part two of this one is I do need to give myself more grace. I need to remember that I just had a baby four months ago and I don't have my sojo back yet. It's not probably going to be back for a while because I remember going through this with my other two babies. And yeah, you just need to give yourself grace when it comes to projects. And number five, or number four, what number is it? <laughs> Anyways, either way is to learn to enjoy the process again. And if things do start going sideways, just step back and go make a cup of tea and just try to ignore the project for a bit or just go to bed. Sometimes just stepping away from the project will help you see it more clearly in the future. And the last thing I learned from this project is I need to remember to clean up my space as I'm working on a project because it makes picking up a container of spilled pins on the floor so much easier. It also makes it easier to clean up a spilled cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a fun day. Well, that is it for today. I am really looking forward to the new year. I have several projects that I'm going to be finishing up from 2022 and also 2020. <laughs> oh, fingers, fingers crossed that I get that worth gown done this year. It's on the list. It is on the list. Thank you so much for watching. I hope there was something that was enjoyable for you in this video. Um, and just to remember that everyone has project fails and you're doing a great job no matter where you are in your sewing process. Hope you have a happy new year and I will see you in 2023. Bye!